PNG or JPEG, it doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm gonna put my photo pictures on top of these areas. Listen, a lot of people out there have tried to explain how to design a 2x6 template. And I'm sorry to say it, but none of them were me. And that's a big problem. See, teaching is something I've been doing for over 10 years now. Back in engineering school, I was already the guy helping my classmates. Then it was fitness. Then in every business I launched, I even gave multiple photo booth masterclasses back in France. And honestly, it is just a God-given gift I have. The ability to share, teach, and make people around me better. If you don't know me, my name is Bill. And this is the part where you say, nice to meet you, Bill. Come on, come on, say it. I'll wait. I've been in this industry for over four years now, and my only goal is to serve corporate clients in high-end events. Why? Because those are the clients that make your business last. And today, I'm going to show you how to achieve this in under five minutes with no cut off edges and clean, perfect strips every single time. And the best part, we're keeping it super simple. We are actually using Canva. So no excuses, no complicated design tools because the free version of Canva is more than enough. So what are you still doing on your phone? Go grab that computer and let's work together. I'll even put all the resources I'm using down below so you can follow along and just mimic exactly what I do. All right, let's head into Canva. Okay, my friend, there we go. We in Canva. Just to remind you, this is the design we are trying to achieve. I always like to have an image of what I am going to achieve. And this is the design that I achieved. None of this matters because we are going to be doing it from scratch. First of all, you want to know the template size. The template size is 600 by 1800. So what you want to do, so you're going to go ahead and hit that create button and go to custom size. Right there, the width we say is 600 and this one is 1800. And you hit that create new design, making sure that the units are in pixels. Now that we have our kind of strip, this is where the real work starts. I love to do my things with a lot of logic. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the file button and go to settings and show rules and guides. Because this is an 1800 design, I want to cut it in different parts so I know where my pictures are going to be and where my design is going to be. So basically what I always do is I divide it in four parts. I leave 600 down there for the design and the remaining 1200 I divide it by three to get three spaces for my three pictures. This is gonna be a strip of three pictures. So I'm going down there. I'm just like on it so, but I'm just clicking right there and I'm grabbing it and I go to 1200. If I can get to the exact number, I just have to zoom in over there to get more precise with my roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that 1200. Good. You see, so this is the part where I'm going to add my design. And this is the part where my pictures are going to be. So 1200 divided by 3, it makes 400. Which means that I'm going to divide this space by 3 to have my 3 pictures aligned. So the first one is obviously going to be 400. As usual, you zoom in to get precise with it. If it doesn't give you the 400, you can just keep zooming in until you get that perfect number that you're looking for. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. You got to zoom in a little more to get that number. But we have time. You can go ahead and you can just zoom out to go to the next step. Next step is 800 and that will be it. So same stuff. Zoom in and just go ahead and hit 800. Perfect. Now that we have this strip well divided, what we are going to do right now is add our margins. Because the last thing we want is our prints to get cut off because we didn't add enough margin. So for my margins, I always leave 40 on top and 24 on both sides i'm talking in pixels let's zoom in and just grab another another line and just go to 40 same step if it doesn't go to 40 you can just keep zooming in till you get the perfect number you're looking for 
if they can just add a way for us to add manually add those numbers it would be awesome canva if you listen to me right now you know what to do okay the sides so this one is gonna be 24 and since it's 600 like the the left if we remove uh, 24 uh, from 600 it leaves us with 576 so we are going to look for 576 perfect if I zoom out, you can definitely see that my margins are added and my design is starting to come to life. And I just love it. Okay, so next step, I'm going to add my design. I'm going to go ahead and go to uploads and just hit Mademoiselle. And normally, it's going to find it. Canva is crazy sharp, man. So I'm just going to click on it, bring it over there. It has to be right there. It doesn't have to cross this line because this is the space allowed for the design, remember. So I'm just going to keep zooming. I want that to take them as much space as possible. And I'm happy with what I got. Perfect. You see, I always leave that margin. You can also think about a 40 margin down there since it's like, it's... It's 1800 so if you remove 40 it leaves you with 1760 something around right here because you want your prints to come out sharp and clean so the design part is very easy like you don't have to over complicate it if you want to make big events as i do as we did multiple times you want to keep it simple those like oversaturated designs ain't gonna bring you nowhere that's the name of the game simplicity sharpness like clean design that's what clients love okay now let's move to the pictures so if i zoom out a little bit you can see that it's starting to come alive and what i'm going to do is very simple i'm just going to go to elements and i'm going to air and i'm going to add frames so a frame is like right there what i'm going to do is just click on it bring one frame over there and what you have to understand is that every picture from your photo booth is if you do horizontal format is 1800 by 1200 so the pictures you are going to add on your design needs to keep those proportions and how do you do that in canva very easy you click the position button you go to width and height and you add 1800 and right there 1200 yeah it's going to take a bunch of space it's going to be very big but what you want to do next is also very important you want to lock that ratio button so when you reduce it it keeps the same proportion that gives you the real aspect ratio of a photo picture so i'm just going to keep reducing it as much as i can and when i'm happy with the result i have i'm just going to and duplicate it to add the two other frames so what i usually do is i zoom in to make sure i really have what i like just a little bit bigger i can bring it shorter and yes it start looking like something i might like to use and i'm just gonna center it right there we get to go when i'm happy with my result what i just want to do is simple i just want to duplicate it so hit that ctrl c button ctrl v and you get down there and you add another one and then another one you want to keep the same proportions so make sure that everything is very pretty much very well aligned and this is it like just like that you got beautiful strips and to go even further i want you to be able to showcase the design to your client before the event so what i'm always doing is i add pictures onto my design and i just send it over to the client saying hey this is what you're gonna get so are you happy with that are you excited if they say yes i'm like okay let's lock it in and if they're not happy with the result you're just gonna go ahead and keep doing some tweaks to make it perfect for them yeah so that's where frames is useful because if it was just regular squares you cannot just add pictures in there you have to add pictures manually but why not i'm just going to drag and drop pictures it's going to fit in perfectly so let's go ahead and do it i'm going to hit uploads i'm going to go way down there to find my beautiful pictures from the internet with the pink background so these are my pictures just want to drag and drop, put it in there, drag and drop, in there, and drag and drop, in there. You can just basically download it. Let me just remove the, the rows. You will see how beautiful it is. I'll remove it. You see, we got a beautiful strip that we did in less than 
10 minutes. See how simple that is? Once you know the structure, you will never waste another print again. Now, before I show you the final printed product, my friend, if you're getting any value from this video, all I ask is share this with a friend in the business, smash that like button, and of course, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next level strategies. It is free for you, but it's literally my motivation to keep making these videos. And if you want to support even further, check out bootcorner.com. That's where we've got our star boot, photo boot, plug and play contracts, and tons of resources to help you run a profitable business. We're constantly adding more. So once you are done with the design, what I like to do is just duplicate this page, remove like just uh, detach image and delete, detach image and delete. And this is what I'm going to export. PNG or JPEG, it doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm going to put my photo book pictures on top of these areas. You know, so transparent or no, it's not gonna affect my design. So I like to re always rename it like design XYZ event. So when I download it, immediately get that, that name. So you wanna hit that share option, go to download, just the current page, which is page two, PNG, it doesn't matter. And we are good, we are set. So you download it, it's gonna be quick, basically, because it's just one picture. You open it to make sure this is what you wanna, you wanna have. And as you can see, you have that beautiful overlay and you're ready to roll. See how simple that is? Once you know the structure, you will never waste another print again. All right, back to business. Once you're done designing, just export as PNG or JPEG. It doesn't really matter. Now you can open the software of your choice. For me, that's Lumaboot today. But honestly, whether you're using Lumaboot, DSLR Boot, or Fiesta, the layout is nearly identical. Load your design, add some random test images, hit that print button, and voila! You've got beautiful strips that look exactly like they did in Canva. Clean, professional, not cutoffs. Now, I know some of you are wondering, Bill, how are you even able to print strips with iPad plus a DSLR camera? How do you get those perfect cuts? And that's exactly why I made another video showing you step by step how to print strips flawlessly. And as always, it is the best resource on YouTube about the topic. Because guess what? Sharing is caring. I love you all and I want to see each one of you win. Entrepreneurship is already hard enough. No need to cheer each other down. See you in the next one. Peace.